Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Debbie Weiss and I'm here to help you navigate the cesspool that is middle age dating. And today I want to talk a little bit about how older women are really kind of undervalued in dating land, at least online, I think. And also in a lot of the research I've done. You know, I've done a lot of research that shows that women over 35 have a very hard time finding a quality man. And that it's really even harder when you're over 50. Um, there are a bunch of reasons. Some of them are chestnuts, one that like men want younger women. And that's true. You know, when I was in law school, um, there's a, a doctrine called future interests. And it's based on how long you can tie up property. But it basically assumes that anybody at any age can have a child which is going to mess up, you know, um, inheritance. But, you know, the real point of it, obviously, is, you know, mo most 80-year-old people don't really want to have kids, except online, where, you know, you see a bunch of guys who say, oh, yeah, I'm open to kids. And it's like, really? You already have there that you've got four kids and you're in your 60s. Okay, interesting. Um, you know, the media is not terribly helpful to older people. We're in Viagra ads, uh, medication ads and a whole bunch of other unsexy stuff. They're not usually a lot of fun. So there is kind of this, this bias in, in favor of youth. And then the idea, of course, that people, when they're online, they're, they're looking for someone to complement their image. But you know, those aren't the people you want. There are some real uh, problems with finding a, a guy when you're an older woman. And here's some. I mean, obviously, men die sooner than women. We have more widows. Than, widow, than men um, who die young. So you have that. Another issue is, you know, really great guys, a lot of them, we stay married. Um, you know, I, I, for example, you know, my father was widowed. And if, if my mother hadn't passed when he was in his 40s, he would still be married. Um, George, if he hadn't passed, I'm, I know my late husband and I would still be married. We were together 32 years and he was an amazing, wonderful person. But there are schmucks out there who leave their wives for younger women, and you don't see that many women doing that as much as men, at least for my um, people I speak with. So there's one, another issue. Uh, another problem we're getting into, um, maybe a little bit more for younger folks, is the education gap. We have more women who are getting higher educations than men. And also women with more earning potential. And there's the issue that men are allegedly programmed to provide. And they're intimidated by women who are more successful or uh, more financially uh, secure. I'm, I'm not absolutely sure. I've certainly seen a lot of guys online who would like to hook up with a woman who is more financially secure than they are. And that's a whole nother problem. And then experientially, I see a lot of guys online who are looking for lovely, trim, fit women and do not meet that description in any way, shape, or form themselves. So I do see a lot of problems with that when you're older, but I also think you can disregard some of that. And here's why. It's because, you know, you only need one great person. You don't need to find a trove of men. It, you only need to find one person who appreciates you. And one of the ways I think we do that is by changing the perception of older women. We are all living so much better longer. And this perception that, you know, an older gal is uh, like a Buick, you know, you can take her for a test drive. She'll be grateful for any attention. You can kick her tires just isn't the case. Because, you know, I have met men who said that, you know, uh, a guy I, I met um, at a meetup said, well, you know, he tries to pay women compliments, the older women, because he's sure they appreciate it and they need it. But we don't. We, we really don't need that. We just really need to be valued. And I think there are a lot of men who want women their own age, like my partner, and who want someone who can appreciate common references and common experiences and who simply see beauty in people of all ages. You know, I really meet a lot of older couples who have um, come together later in life, and they are not remarkable looking people. They are not the skinniest. They are not the most Botoxed, <laughs> they are not anything in particularly different in terms of looks. They're just happier. 
generally, you know, I see they have smiles and they're happy to be together and they're open to that. And that's really it. Um, you know, I know a lot of older women who are concerned about going back online. They think they're not perfect looking anymore. Well, so what? We don't need the male gaze. We need one good guy. The male gaze being the general view of men admiring women. Um, but again, we don't need that. We just really need one great person. So don't worry about it. Be yourself. It doesn't matter if you need to, if you feel you need to lose five pounds or you are not perfect or you think you need work. The right person will appreciate you. And if you have an inner light and a great smile, that's all you need, along with self-esteem. That is the most important thing we can bring to this process. It is self-esteem. And that is why we must hold out for men who did not make us feel marvelous. You know, I've certainly met men who are like, well, you know, we're older, think relationships are different, don't expect that much. You know, we're never gonna live together. We're just gonna meet up maybe once a week. Well, that's not the relationship I wanted. You know, you wanna stay exactly the way you are and meet up once a week for what? Early bird special dinners and unenthusiastic sex? You don't have to take that. Or I've seen um, ads that say, I want a travel partner. Okay, well, what about when you're not traveling? Um, or the guys who are like, well, you know, you're older. Uh, I don't really want to do that much. But, you know, I want to get to know you. Why don't I come over and watch movies or something? No, 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 no. If it feels premature that somebody wants to come to your place, the answer is it is premature. Just say no. You do not have to lower your standards. There are other people out there. Or like a dear friend of mine, actually a great guy, but his description of what he wants in a woman, now he's in his early 70s, is someone who won't bust my chops. And most of the women he's met appear to want to bust his chops in some fashion. He's a lovely fellow, but I think he's going to be single for a long time. Now, because online dating is so shallow, I think when we're older, it is important to look at meeting in real life. I think that can be more valuable. And here's why, you know, we're not desperate. We have our own lives. And I think sometimes you bet, get better connections from simply going about your life and enjoying it. And if you meet a great guy doing what you love to do, great. You already have stuff in common. You've seen him in the real world. You've seen him below this artificial place here. And um, you're also enjoying your life. You're not wasting your time hoping for someone to miraculously turn up online. Um, one of my Facebook friends who has a lot of friends simply put it out there. She's uh, in her mid-50s and she put out to her friends, hey, I'm looking for a relationship this year. If you have any friends who you think might be a good match for me, please let me know. Pretty clever, right? She's going to get some screening and she's going to get some accountability because if those guys blow it, they're going to have to answer to her friends who referred them. I certainly have met, again, a higher quality of guys through meetup. Hiking groups have been great. Now, my hiking groups are usually women, but there are guys. And, you know, hobby groups in general. Um, I, I know some lovely men who are bird watchers. Do I want to bird watch? Well, you know, actually, there's a pretty good uh, bird of prey tour put on by a local hiking group, and that is something I would look at. Um, of course, I'm going to bring my partner. But what I'm saying is just because you're older doesn't mean you have to settle. There is going to be somebody out there who thinks you are wonderful and who you find wonderful. And if you don't happen to find him with some name like, you know, Rubber Baby Bum, Bub, Rubber Baby Bum, so what I'm saying is you can hold out for somebody awesome. There is somebody awesome in your age group. And that might happen to be more in real life than on an online site where, you know, somebody's handle is rubber baby buggy bumpers 27 or looking for Ms. Fit and Right or, you know, a whole lot of love. So... As I always say, do not settle and do not feel put down by this process because you are older. There are plenty of lovely men out there, but they're probably like you. They are outliving and you are just fine as you are. And if you live well, 
you will meet them or you will have a wonderful life on your own. But please don't let the media and biases in favor of younger women spoil your good time or your love life. I'm Debbie, and I hope that this helped to navigate the cesspool that is middle age dating. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.